hello everyone today is bsc first year first semester paper paper name is mechanics of a particle and lesson name is center of mass and center of mass of a reduces mass also uh, now we discuss the center of mass lesson topics center of mass is center of mass of a rigid body and reduces mass what is the center of mass and center of mass of a rigid body is also explain now so what is the center of mass center of mass is the uh, any two particles okay center of masses of a is a position defined relative to an object to or systems of object it is the average positions of all the parts of the systems weighted according to their masses for simple rigid objects with uniform density the center of mass is located at the centroid let us consider any two particles of masses m1 and m2 on the x axis of the distance is x1 and x2 from this origin and the uh, center of mass of a two particles is now in this figure observation so this is the origin point so m1 and m2 particle so origin first mass m1 is distance is x1 and another mass m2 is the mass is distance of x2 so m1 and m2 is mass of the center of mass is this one center of the masses so uh, this is symbol of x c m so this is the origin to center of mass so you can define the x c m so now center of mass of the two particles is defined as the x c m is equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 by m1 plus m2 any two particles are in the xy plane of the coordinates x1 y1 and x2 y2 the coordinates of the center of the mass is defined as the x c m is equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 by m1 plus m2 similarly y axis that is center of mass of the particle that is y c m is equal to m1 y1 plus m2 y2 by m1 plus m2 if there are more than two particle distributions in the space of coordinates of the center of the mass of these particles is defined as the c m is equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 by m1 plus m2 the center of the mass of the y plane so y c m is equal to m1 y1 plus m2 y2 by m1 plus m2 if there are more than two particle distributing in the space of the coordinates of the center of the mass of these particles is defined as the x c m is equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 up to n number of particles by m1 plus m2 plus m3 dash 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 n particles that is equal to number of particles you can write summation of i equal to 1 to n m i x i by summation of m i so similarly y axis the center of the mass of y plane is y c m is equal to m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus dash dash up to uh, number of particles by m1 plus m2 plus dash dash m number of masses you can write summation of i equal to 1 to n uh, m i y i by summation of i equal to 1 to n that is m i so similarly z c m the center of the mass of the z plane is equal to m 1 z 1 plus m 2 z 2 plus dash 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 by m 1 plus m 2 plus up to number of masses that is equal to you can write summation of i equal to 1 to n some m i z i by summation of i equal to 1 to n that is m i you can write this is the summation of i term i to 1 equal to number of particles so now these three equation that is x y and z plane to give the position vector of the center of the mass that is the center of mass of the position vector r c m that is equal to i into x c m plus j into y c m plus k into uh, ZCM. So he can write XCM, YCM, ZCM is values. So equation one and two. These three equations XCM, YCM, and ZCM values is substituting in this equation. That is simplification summation of I. MI that is here both are the common of the MI values. So uh, MI is the common I into XI plus J into YI plus K into ZI by summation of MI. Now we can write that is I into XI plus J into YI plus K into ZI. So you can write that is the position vector RI. So RCM is equal summation of I equal to 1 to n number of that is m i into r i by summation of i equal to 1 to n number so that is into m i so this is the r c m position vector of the center of the mass r c m is equal to in equation 3 so we can write summation of i into m i in this the total mass of the system let us consider capital m so now we can write total mass of the system capital m substituting in three equation equation that is r c m is equal to summation of i into m i r i by capital m so is equal to outside element like m into r c m is equal summation of i 
into m i r i that is equation of 4. So, now this fourth equation differentiating with respect to t. So, you can differentiating with respect to so that is m is the uh, constant and differentiating with respect to t then r c m. So, so d r c m by d t. So, is equal summation of i into m i is constant d r i by d t. You can write d r i by d t that is the distance by time is equal to velocity. So, d r i by d t is equal to v i and d r c m by d t is equal to v c m. You can write after differentiating this values is substituting uh, we get the value m into v c m is equal summation of i into m i v i. So, this is the equation for uh, differentiating with respect to t then this values is substituting d r i by d t and d r c m by d t value is substituting in this simplify that is m into v c m is equal to summation of i into m i v i. So, this is the equation of the total this is the uh, right term this summation of i into v i value is the total linear momentum of the particle and this is called the total momentum of the system. So, again differentiating in this equation with respect to t. So, m into d v c m by d t is equal to summation of i m i into d v i by d t. Now, you can write d v i by d t is equal to acceleration that is uh, velocity by time that is equal to acceleration a i is equal to d v i by d t. So, similarly a c m is equal to d v c m by d t then this value is substituting then we get this final value m a c m is equal summation of uh, i into m i into a i. So, this is equation 5 differentiating with respect to t and acceleration values this values is substituting final the equation m into a c m is equal to summation of m i a i value. Let us consider this equation is 6. Now, you can write equation 6 this is the right term is equal to and that is Newton's second law. Newton's second law is equal to f equal to m a. So, you can write f i equal to m i a i. So, there is the force acting on the ith particle. So, the right hand side this equation uh, the resultant of the force acting on all the particles are the resultant in force acting on the system. Now, we can write that is m a c m is equal to summation of i into f i e plus a i e summation of i naught is equal to j uh, into f i j. Here, f i e is the external force acting on the ith particle and f i into j this force of the interaction. So, this is the ith particle due to the jth particle. So, f i j will be equal and opposite to the force of i j into i. So, acting on the jth particle due to the ith particle. So, you can write f i j is equal to f j i also. This force of interaction between the particles on the system is equal and opposite pairs and hence they cancel in both each other. So, the resultant force of the system is both are cancelled. So, now you can write m a c m is equal to summation of i into f i e. So, is equal to that is the denoted the total force acting on the system is you can write f so, that is f is equal to uh, summation of f into i e you can write that is f e. So, f e is the resultant external force acting on this system. Now, this value is substituting in equation 6 that is m a c m is equal to f e. So, this is the f equal to m a c m. So, this equation is the center of the mass of the acceleration through the total mass of the system is uh, concentrating and the resultant force is applied to it. So, this is the force is equal to m a c. So, this is the center of the mass as acceleration as through the total mass of the system. So, next one center of mass of a rigid body. Let us consider any rigid body the center of mass of a rigid body can be determined the subdividing the body into the large number of small elements of the mass that is del m is located. At the point is x i y i z i the coordinates of the center of the mass r is given by x c m is equal to summation of del m i x i by summation of del m i. And similarly y axis that is y c m is equal to summation of del m i y i by uh, summation of del m i and similarly z c m is equal to summation of del m i z i by summation of del m i. So, these are three uh, points that is x i y i z i the three coordinates of the center of the mass of the given this equations. 
xcm ycm and zcm so if the number of mass elements tends to infinity and then the summation in the above equation you can write replaced by the integration you write the summation replaced by the integration so xcm is equal limit of del mi is tends to infinity of summation of del mi xi by summation of del mi is equal you can the summation uh, replaced the right integral so integral of x dm so you can write dm is the uh, that is dm and xi term is the you can write x by summation is replaced by the integral so integral of dm is equal to 1 by m into integration of x dm so you can write uh, integration of dm means uh, that is 1 by m integration of x into dm similarly ycm the center of the mass of the y plane ycm is equal limit of del mi tends to infinity of summation of del mi yi by summation of del mi that is equal to summation is replaced by the integral that is integral of y dm by integration of dm so integration of dm is means that is 1 by m integral of y dm so similarly z axis is also you can write zcm is equal to 1 by m into integral of z uh, dm so vector uh, notation that is rcm is equal to 1 by m integral of r dm so rcm is equal to that is the position vector center of the mass of the position vector rcm is equal you can write 1 by m into integral of r dm for homogeneous object having a point a line or a plane of symmetry the center of mass will lie at the point on the line and in the plane of symmetry for example the center of the mass of the homogeneous uh, sphere lays at the center of the sphere and the center of the rectangular plane sheet lies on the plane of symmetry and is given by the intersection of its plane of symmetry so the position of the center of the mass of symmetrical structure in this uh, figure that is the center of the mass and rectangular and uh, triangle and these are both are square these are also etc this is the symmetrical structure of the center of the masses and next one is reduces mass uh, reduces mass means a small mass m coupled by the spring and uh, spring constant is k to a rigid support it is a simple harmonic oscillation this is a two uh, body systems in which the rigid support serves as a body with infinite mass when the mass m attached to the spring executes oscillates the rigid support remains at a rest in an inertial reference frame and the potential energy u of x of the oscillating system is a function of the displacement x of the mass alone so any let us consider any two bodies of the masses that is m1 and m2 is connected to the less spring of the force constant that is k uh, in this figure uh, the system uh, is free oscillations on a frictionless horizontal surfaces and let us consider that is uh, origin is uh, distance of mass m1 that is distance is x1 and again m2 mass is the distance of the origin that is x2 let us uh, consider that is the within time that is t so x1 of t and x2 of the is represented the uh, coordinates of the end position of this uh, springs so the center of gravity of uh, homogeneous uh, sphere are like cube and circular and rectangular etc is these are the uh, centers so these two masses is considered that is m1 and m2 this is the center density one key m1 mask distance x1 and m2 mask that is the distance of x2 and this is the spring uh, connected in this uh, two masses that is the spring constant is k and again another figure it is uh, only one body of the system with reduces mass connected a, by a spring is fixed point and another one this is the only one body of the system this is a reduced mass connected by the spring to a fixed point the length of the spring at a instance of the that is the x1 minus x2 if the unstructured length of the spring is the l and then the change in the length of the spring is x is equal to x1 minus x2 minus l so this is the only one body and this is the body system is reduced mass connected to the spring in one fixed point and this is also this figure is x1 minus x2 length is only one body you can consider rest in position unstructured length of the string is the l then the change in the length of the spring is total that is x is equal to x1 minus x2 minus l and the in applying the second uh, newton's uh, law 
so that is m1 m2 we get that is you can write the m1 into d square x1 by dt square is equal minus kx and m2 into d square x2 by dt square is equal to plus kx this is positive of the string is stretched if x is equal to 0 the string as its normal length and is negative of the compressed the string b is a stretched that is x greater than equal 0 then applying uh, newton's law in both two masses that is m1 and m2 so, so m1 into d square x by dt square is equal to minus kx and m2 into d square x2 by x square is equal to kx and this is let us consider in equation 2 and equation now you can write x1 is the change in the length of the spring that is x is equal to x1 minus x2 minus L. So, this equation 2 is multiplying in m2 value and equation 3 is multiplying in m1 value. So, after multiplying this both are equations is subtracting. Finally, this value is m1 m2 d square x1 by dt square minus m1 x into d square x2 by dt square is equal minus m2 kx minus m1 kx. So, m1 m2 is common d square x1 by dt square minus d square x2 by dt square. So, here uh, both are is d square by dt square is also common. So, x1 minus x2 that is equal to uh, here minus kx is the common. So, m1 plus m2. So, this is the term m1 plus m2 is uh, in this term is, is equal to outside element like this is the numerator based. So, m1 m2 is common. So, m1 m2 and uh, the here kx is the common that is m1 plus m2. So, e m1 plus m2 is, is equal to outside direction like that, okay. m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 that is d square by dt square is common x1 minus x2 is equal to minus kx. Here m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 as reduces mass of the system that is the symbol of nu. Nu is equal to means that is m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 which had dimensions of the mass. U is less than the small of the uh, two masses and hence the name is reduced mass. Now, this value is substituting in this equation d square by dt square into x1 minus x2 is equal to d square by dt square. Now, substituting this value d square x by dt square plus k by nu into x is equal to 0. Here, see observe that this one is the m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 is equal to reduces mass. This is you can substituting d square by dt square, this is the d square x by dt square value. Here, nu this equal to outside element like the k by nu outundi. So, e minus term is equal to outside action put on a plus outundi plus k by nu into x is equal to 0. He could have asked in the equation d square x by dt square plus k by nu into x is equal to 0. This is the equation of the motion of the one body system equation. This is the fixed point one mass is uh, connected to this spring. So, the motion of the one body of the system is uh, equation is d square x by dt square plus k by nu into x is equal to 0. Now, if m1 equal to m2 that is equal to m, uh, we get u is equal to m by 2. If one of the mass of the system is very small, then the reduces mass of the system is corresponding to that of the smaller mass. If m1 is very small, that is u is equal to m1 m2 by m1 plus m2. So, you can here that is m1 by m2 plus m2. Same, this equation is simplification, then this is the above equation you can write u is equal to m1 m2 by m1 plus m2, uh, that is m1 by m2 plus m2. Then simplification is the equation that is nu is equal to m1 m2 by m1 plus m2. LCM is m1 plus m2 that is denominator in the numerator is m1 into m2. So, m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 you can write. So, nu is equal to m1 numerator is equal to m1 plus m1 by m2 whole power of minus 1. So, then expansion is the binomial expansion is the highest terms are negligence only small terms this is that is equal to m1 into 1 minus m1 by m2. So, here that is m1 m2 is nearly equal to so nu is equal to m. So, this is the reduces mass. 
okay so any two reduces mass lo two mass consider cheskoni only one mass ni fix cheskunappudu dani yokka differential equation anedi find out cheyadam jarugutundi aa find out nunchi chesi manaki reduces mass anedi that is nu is equal to m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 is the reduces mass ee reduces mass anedi equal to uh, only nu is equal to m1 mass already ikkada manam two equations teeskunappudu two differential forms anedi find out cheskunamu ee two differential form teeskunna kuda manaki only one body uh, system with reduces mass connected by the spring to a fixed point and jump on so that is uh, nu is equal to m1 that is the reduces mass and similarly uh, that is the model of the uh, using this formula determine the center of the mass of three particles situated at the uh, corners of a right angled and this triangle as shown in this figure so this is one model of this problem three masses this one one more angle and I find out just code so uh, this is the right angle shape that is three masses that is m1 m2 m3 and one mass is the 10 kgs and another m2 is the 20 kgs and the M3 is the 5 kgs. This is the distance of 1 meter and 3 meters center of the mass that is the center C. So, uh, center of the mass is in x direction and y direction only. Let us consider this is the origin point 3 masses that is M1, M2, M3 and taken this uh, values at origin. So, one point is 0, 0 and another one is 1, comma 0 and another point is 1, comma 3. So, x axis coordinates of the center of the mass is the C and Kutuna. So, now uh, you can apply the center of the mass of in x direction. So, m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 by m1 plus m2 m3. So, here three points is there. So, m1 m2 m3. So, that is why you can write this is the points 0 0 and 1 0 and 1 3. So, x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3. So, x1 y1 is the 0 0 value and x2 y2 is the 1 comma 0 and x3 y3 is the 1 comma 3 value. So, this substituting the center of the mass of the uh, x plane x c m is equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 by m1 plus m2 plus m3 this is value substituting. So, m1 value is 10 m2 is the 20 and m3 is the 5 value. So, you can write m1 x1. So, here x1 y1 is 0 0 and x2 y2 is the 1 0 x3 and y3 is the 1 comma 3. So, x1 is 0 and x2 is the 1 and x3 is the 1 by m1 plus m2 plus m3 that is in simplification 25 by 35 is equal to 5 by 7. Similarly, y coordinates of the center of the mass c of the system is given by ycm is equal to m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3 by m1 plus m2 plus m3 here substituting here x1 y1 y1 means 0 and y2 is also 0 and y3 is also 3. So, you can write 0 and 0 and 3 m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3 by m1 plus m2 plus m3 that is equal to 15 by 35 simply we have 3 by 7 this is the coordination of the center of the mass that is x cm y cm is equal 5 by 7 and 3 by 7. So, in this topic uh, discussion center of mass center of mass of a rigid body and reduces mass. So, your center of the mass is uh, that is the position vector of the center of mass that is RCM is equal to 1 by m integration of R. Uh, dm. So, similarly Vcm uh, the center of the mass of the velocity Vcm is equal 1 by m into summation of i into m i v i and similarly acceleration Acm the center of mass of the acceleration is equal 1 by m into summation of m i a. This is the reduces mass of the particles always less than the masses of individually particle constituting the system and uh, center of mass of the rigid body can be determined by the subdividing the uh, body into a large number of small element of the mass that is del m and at the points x i y i z i the coordinates of the center of the masses is the x c m is equal summation of del m i x i by summation of del m i and similarly y and z z center of the masses coordinates of x i y i z i center of the masses is in this given equations and uh, center of the masses of the form line the, that is uh, to any two uh, masses that is m1 m2 masses and the origin point in chi manaki m1 mass ki distance is x1 and m2 mass ki distance is x2 so you can consider center of the mass x cm is equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 by m1 plus m2 
this is the uh, center of the masses and simple harmonic motion a body is said to be move with simple harmonic motion if the vibrating about it means point such uh, that the force acting on it is always uh, directed towards the center and is proportional to the displacement at any instance of time these are the summary of the uh, center of mass and center of mass of a rigid body and uh, reduces masses.